Greetings from Technopod.net, today we are unboxing the almighty ITX 3090. It is the biggest ever graphics card ever made. Now we are going to unbox it and we are going to compare it with 3080. We have already reviewed 3080 and you can see 3090 card here. Let's compare the sizes. When we put them side by side, you can see they have spent entire arsenal of aluminum ever produced in the United States of America or somewhere else. <laughs> More likely. Yeah, if they keep producing this one, they'll run out of aluminum. <laughs> yes, I believe they will run out. But it's actually produced in Foxconn, I believe, because on the box we have seen some markings coming from Foxconn and Micro. Yeah, came a long way from China to USA and to Turkey. <laughs> yes, it has been traveling a lot. Now, inside the box there is a power coupling, power cable, it's for the adapter of our power supply unit. We will install it here. And what are we going to do with the treasure? Are we going to only play some games with 3090? No, it's not just for gaming, it's for the creator. So we will test creative apps on this baby. Yes, creative apps are important and Nvidia has already showcased some of the users. For example, using ray tracing, you can do greater 3D modeling. You can do it faster, you can do it cooler, you can do it better, they are saying. It's actually a gaming card. It's the pre-Titan card. Uh, before that, Nvidia called these cards Titan. Now they dropped the Titan name. It's 3090. But actually, it's a cheaper quadro alternative for most game makers. It's a $1,500 card. When we look at the quadro cards, we can see they are a few thousand dollars. And we get a lot of GPU memory inside this. Yeah, with the Nvidia Studio drivers, we think that the card will perform really nice with creative applications. So follow up Technopod.net for more information. We are doing most of our videos in Turkish, but you can see the FPS values, you can see the values inside uh, via MSI Afterburner or other computer programs we are using to show you the values. Also, we have the Nvidia latency kit, so we will be calculating power usage, latency and other technical values as well. We are going to share them so that you can compare it to the other testers so you can have a wider view and understanding of the 3090 GPU. Yeah, stay tuned for other updates. See you.